Hi lovelies. Oh my god, I've missed you all so much. I mean, it's been a while I sat down to make a video and it's just so, so <laughs> it's just so somehow actually. And um I'm so so sorry that I haven't been posting videos or yeah, I'm so sorry about that. See, I've been very busy. When I mean busy, you can see my eyes, right? I haven't slept for a while, like I mean for some days already. So I've been busy with school, we're having our exams, and also I've been busy with my business. Yeah, my business. Yeah, yeah. So um, it has really taken a lot of my time. But I'll try to balance everything. I promise. Okay, so hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel once again. Welcome back to my channel, welcome back to our new subscribers. I see you all alone. Hey, <laughs> like the way this, that, like when I just go to my YouTube um, studio, this application I have in my phone, and I just say, oh, this person just subscribed. Oh, wow, wow, wow. So I really see you guys. I can see you. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining the family. I really appreciate it. and yeah, may God bless you all. And to our old subscribers. Eh, eh. <laughs> thank you guys so much. Thank you so much for all you do. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Thank you so much. You can see from the title of the video, bad news. Yes, so I have a bad news for you guys, okay? I have a bad news for you all. I'm sorry, I really do not like using the word guys, but just bear with me. I actually do not like using the word guys and you know, <laughs> just keeps on coming out of my mouth. But all the same, sorry. So, I have a bad news for you all. Bad news. Yes, I'm serious. This bad news is from a story in the Bible. Yes, from a story in the Bible, and it's in um, Isaiah chapter 38, from verse 1 to 8. Yeah, from verse, 1 to, from verse 1 to 9. So if you have your Bible, please open to Isaiah 38, from verse 1 to 9. And um, let me just read, but I didn't want to read it, so it's, the video would be too long. But all the same, Isaiah chapter 38, from verse 1 to 9, says, about this time, King Ezekiah fell ill and almost died. The prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, went to see him and said to him, The Lord tells you that you are to put everything in order because you will not recover. Get ready to die. Huh? Verse 2. Ezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed, Remember, Lord, that I have served you faithfully and loyal. And that I have always tried to do what you wanted me to. And he began to cry bitterly. For then the Lord commanded Isaiah to go back to his and say to him, I, the Lord, the God of your ancestor David, have heard your prayer and seen your tears. I'll let you live 15 years longer. This is a man God told that he was going to die. And verse 6 says, I will rescue you and this city of Jerusalem from the emperor of Azra, and I'll continue to protect the city. Isaiah told the king to put a paste made of figs on his boil, and he would get well. Then King Hezekiah asked, what is the sign to prove that I will be able to go to the temple? Isaiah replied, the Lord will give you a sign to prove that he will keep his promise. So let me just stop here. So this story in um, Isaiah chapter 38 from verse 1 to 7 or 8 is talking about a king. A king go, a king who was very sick and he was about to die. A king was very sick and, and was about to die. And then God sent a prophet just like a pastor. God sent a prophet to this king that was very sick. To tell the king that, hey king, um, arrange everything, prepare yourself, prepare your mind, your heart, your soul, your spirit, because you are going, you are going to die very soon. I mean, you will not recover from that sickness. Can you imagine? And so what did this king do? This king turned, he turned and faced the wall, 
and he cried bitterly to God and told God to remember how faithful and loyal he, he was or he has been to him. You get. And then later on, God had this king's prayer and God sent his prophet, prophet Isaiah, to go back to King Ezekiah and tell him that he has added 15 more years to his life. 15 more years to his life, okay? And this was a king he told that was going to die soon. So now I'm here to tell you how many of us, well I'm here to ask you rather, how many of us have received a bad news from a doctor? Maybe the doctor has said that, oh, you have this sickness and this sickness, this sickness you have, there is no cure. Or maybe you're in a situation that looks so impossible and right now you feel like God has forsaken you or that God has um, left you or that you are alone. Don't you think it is high time for you to turn? Don't you think it is high time for you to return? Don't you think it is high time for you to face us? Because the Bible has told us that if we humble ourselves before Him, that he will answer our prayers so i think that was what king Ezekiah did when he heard that bad news that was a bad news a bad news i mean hearing that me myself i don't think i would even want to um face the wall i don't think i would want to pray because i'll be like hey, yeah god has spoken he has spoken because after all he said in his word that his word will never go back to him void right so i'll be like oh yeah he has spoken so there's nothing I can do about it. So what's the point of me um, praying? Or what's the point of me talking to him? But this king, when he had that bad news, that he was going to die, I mean that he wasn't, he wasn't going to recover from that sickness, he turned. And you know, when you turn, turning means forgetting. Face, like when you face the war, when you turn, like this I'm doing now, okay? When you turn like this, like, and let's say you're talking to somebody or like you're praying, for example, you, you aren't concerned on what is going behind you. Like you don't care about what's going behind you. you get? So this guy turned and he was praying to his maker, meaning he forgot all that he was. He forgot his title as a king and he just turned to God. Then and then he realized that, ah, you see this case, there is no title in this one. There is somebody that is higher than me, so I need to humble myself before him. And this guy, this, this king turned, prayed, cried bitterly to the Lord, and he even reminded the, the Lord of all that he has done for him. I mean, of how faithful he has been. So you've gotten that bad news from your doctor or from your school or from your family or whatever it is. Don't you think it is high time you turn? Don't you think it is high time you forget about your degree, you forget about your rewards, you forget about who you are physically, forget about your, your fame, forget about your money, and just humble yourself before the Lord and seek Him diligently with your heart. And you know something, King Ezekiah turned praying to God. I also know that he, he must have asked God for mercy. He turned praying to God and because of that prayer, God didn't just answer the prayers of King Hezekiah, but also said he would give him success in the land. That he would help him um, defeat his enemies. Do you get? So you've, you've heard that bad news. I think it's high time you turn. It's high time you return back to God. It's high time you go back to your secret place. It's high time you go back praying. It's high time you go back asking God for mercy. God can still make ways where there seem to be no way because our God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly all we could ever think or imagine and if you can remember what the Bible said in Matthew when Jesus Christ was talking to his disciples he said that with men all these things are impossible but with God all things are possible so yes you are going through a problem that looks impossible you're going through you have a sickness or a disease that feels like it has no cure I think it's high time you turn it's high time you turn back to the Lord it's high time you return it's high time you go back asking him for mercy forgetting everything behind and just 
returning back to our God because our God is able and even if God is the one who has given you that sickness he can still heal you just like he did in the case of King Hezekiah when he told King Isaiah, uh, Prophet Isaiah he told King Hezekiah that um, he would not recover from the sickness that was what he said and that was what God that, and that was God's word but when King Hezekiah turned humbled himself before the Lord. The Lord added 15 more years to his life. So God can do much more for you. That bad news can never end there if you turn. Okay? So once you turn, a good news will come out from that bad news. Once you turn, once you humble yourself before the Lord, once you ask the Lord for mercy, once you realize that there is a higher hand in your life, once you realize that you are not the one who wants your life, and if somebody who wants your life up there, Jesus, then he would answer your prayer when you seek him with your heart, when you cry bitterly to him. So now let me tell you, that problem you're facing has a solution and that solution is God that solution is, is God he's the only one who can bring you out of the solution of that problem so all you have to do is what return all you have to do is what ask him for mercy all you have to do is what pray to him diligently with your whole heart with your whole heart King Hezekiah turned a king turned you are not you're you not a physical king you're not a physical king okay so king Hezekiah, who was a, an actual king physically physically because i know we are all kings queens princess princess up there but king Hezekiah turned just like saying that the president turned the president of your nation or of, of your country turned asking god for mercy so why don't you take that you turn why did it take that you turn to ask him for mercy? To ask him to heal you. God can still heal you. He's a healer. He's a provider. And that's why we call him Jehovah Jireh. So it is never too late for you to turn. Because when you turn, you are telling God the Lord, I have no power on my own. When you turn, you are telling God the Lord, no matter who I am, I will still humble myself before you. When you turn, you will turn the Lord, the Lord, you are the maker and the keeper of my life. When you turn, you are surrendering everything to God. So I am here to tell you to turn. That bad news is not the end of the world. God can still bring a good news out of that bad news. God can still give you a great message out of that mess. God can still give you wonderful testimonies out of that test, out of that situation. So all you have to do is what? Turn. Yes, that is it. Just turn. Diligently seek Him. Go to your quiet place and ask Him for mercy and pray. And told him to take over and he would do just that he would do just that because our God is merciful our God is loving remember the prodigal son our God is loving our God is amazing he cares about you and he will never leave you nor forsake you the only thing you have to do is what return yes return that is the only thing this God is asking from you return so the problems you're going through is not the end of the world just return and seek him diligently with your whole heart and watch him do wonderful things in your life so i'm going to end this video here i'm looking so sleepy <laughs> god i'm so tired but anyways yeah i'm going to end this video here and um i hope to see you all soon yeah i hope to make a video very soon so have a wonderful day and once again, happy Sunday. It's Sunday today, 10th of Feb. I hope I can post this video as soon as possible. But yeah, happy Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay. But yeah, so thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you. So you all have a wonderful day and I love you. Bye. Bye.